Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. And this video is basically an update on the fiber situation that I have. Now you're probably wondering why am I making another fiber video. It's because I made some promises and uh, I want to keep those promises but as long as there is no fiber in the house it's not going to happen. Now you're probably wondering what happened to my fiber? Well, so do I. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. It has been three weeks, almost to a month, after the installation is done that I'm still waiting for just a little box. The OMP, it's the OMT, one of the two, OMT, OMP, I don't care. It's a box that needs to be installed. I'm still waiting just for that box. So just as a quick recap, let me show you what was done starting three weeks ago. The trench was dug. The actual line was installed. The fiber line was installed. They uh, installed the maintenance section or maintenance hatch. They took up the fiber in a nice conduit into the house. There they connected all the cables that needed to be connected from my house towards the line. The TP box has been installed. The fiber line has actually been spliced with this machine. And there's the other tool that they used to splice the fiber line and the box has been installed. Now, I've been trying to keep it kind of quiet who the culprits are, but I've had enough of this. So I'm going to tell you exactly who to avoid in future. And if you want to stick with them, then you have to be extremely patient. I'm talking about Metro Fiber and Vodacom. Now, Metro Fiber is the infrastructure guys. They are the ones who did the installation. Now a few weeks back I did show you guys the actual install the installation. Now I was actually very excited having them coming and installing the, the physical lines. And uh, then of course you get this, ah oh, don't worry you'll have fiber by the end of this week. It's, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Then we get to Vodacom. Now as you guys know, or well whoever watches my channel will know, I've been fighting with Vodacom since fucking February this year about the shit ass weak LTE that they've got in this area where they don't come out and fix the towers I have like a one megabyte upload almost a non-existent download ping of over 20,000 and so on I've shown you guys the screenshots before now when they phoned me in June, June, July and told me, do you want fiber? I was like, hell yeah, bring the fiber. That'll be awesome. Then they promised me it will be installed in, in August. August came around, left. September came, left. October. Then they promised me, no, once the TP links up, it's, it's a quick shot. It'll be done. You'll have your internet by the end of the week. I phoned them on the 1st of November, on the 6th, on the 12th, on the 16th. I phoned them. I'll phone Metro Fiber and they will give me one story saying that the area is not live. Then the area was live, but the complex isn't live because there's no sales order for this complex, which is bullshit since I had a sales order already since September. At the same time, I'll phone Vodacom to show that the area was not live, when in fact they found out it was live. Then they found out that it's, uh, the complex is on a parked status. Then they said, oh, but we see you have a sales order. The last thing they told me now on the 16th when I phoned was, oh shit, you know what, we forgot to escalate your query to the back office for a service request. A service request. Eventually I got a hold of the CEO 
of Metro Fiber. And she told me, Oh, sir, you know what? We are so sorry, but it's going to take another few weeks before your fiber can be installed. Because from their side, they, do to, they need to do something like 59 different tests on the system from your house to each and every box to the main harness. Then that takes about two or three weeks. Then they have to get a licensing and permission from the municipality, which takes another three working days for them to actually flip the switch to get the area live. Once the area is live and your complex is live, then only can they contact you and ask you to uh, come and install that, that box. So I have gone from you'll have internet in September to you'll have internet by the end of the week to waiting almost three or four months for something that was supposed to be done. Before all this fiber nonsense, I know I had very shitty network, but it was on certain times of the day. I was still able to do some of my stuff. It is so important for a YouTube channel to keep momentum. And I have realized that now. I brought out a video about once a week. I started streaming once a week. And if I couldn't stream, I would make a video. I mean, the last live video I made was <laughs> in August, or even before August last, was the last Cryptzone live show because of this internet. Now I find myself planning the day and thinking, oh, I'm going to make a video today. Then it gets too hot. Tonight when the kids go to sleep, I think, okay, when they go to sleep, I'll make a quick video or something. Then I take them to the bed, we get the kids to sleep, and then I fall asleep. And then I, when I wake up, it's almost like half past 11. The day's gone. There's no point in making a video then. That's why it's so important to keep momentum. And all this bullshit has broken my momentum totally. So, the promises I made was that I'm going to start playing online. People are asking me to start um, streaming their games for them, like PUBG, like Call of Duty. They need streamers to stream the games. I'm willing to do that. I want to start playing a lot of these games online while I'm streaming. I wanted to create like a, horror, uh, a week of horror games where I can stream horror games. Nothing is happening because of this bullshit that I'm sitting with. And now yeah, you could have asked me why didn't I go to MWeb or somewhere else. Because of financial issues and because of the status I'm in, I cannot get contracts from other people. I already have a contract with Vodacom. I've been with Vodacom for more than 20 years now. Since fuck, when cell phones came on the market, 1996, 97. I've been with Vodacom. I'm a VIP. But they treat me like bullshit. So yeah, that is the status. This is where we are now. I've got a physical line in. Still no fucking fiber. I've got a complimentary LTE that they gave me while we wait for the fiber to be installed of 100 gigs a month. But it's, it brings me back to that poor signal, the poor coverage of one point something megs now and then it goes up to maybe 10 megs and then it goes to zero. It's unstable because of the towers that's fucked and they don't fix it. So the promises was made from their side again that I will have my fiber hopefully by next week Friday. Holding thumbs. But I guarantee nothing. So, whoever's still on this channel, whoever's still supporting my channel, whoever's still watching my content, thank you very much for your patience. I've run out of patience. And hopefully, we can get the shit rolling by next week. So that in December, we can start doing some shows. And start doing some better content and start playing games and so on. The whole algorithm on YouTube has changed. Even if you hate this video, give me a thumbs up. 
because the more thumbs up you have the more they see that people actually like your content the more valuable valuable they deem your content and then the algorithm looks better it will pick up the algorithm in the old days it used to be you have to have a thousand subscribers then they looked at how many people actually watch your video then they looked at how long they'll watch your video and all that decides or, or determines to them whether you are viable or not once you are viable then only can you do the monetization where you can actually start making money on this channel so far I'm still making fuck all it's been almost three years now so I'm trying really hard to get this thing this, this ball in a roll I must say so far for this year I'm very happy to report that my channel has grown from 120 odd people over to over 300 in this year I'm extremely grateful thank you very much to each and every one of you so remember if you liked it give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my new further update uploads I'm going to do a podcast today I'm still reading the ghost of Sussex and I'm going to do a, a, a new Detroit become human so if you want to watch that stick around till next time guys cheers